earrings, that's what she had, right? The Lord said he's going to snatch away them bamboo earrings, them big ass tires. Yeah, go ahead, sister. It's all good. We're going to keep prophesying. All prayer. It says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Go ahead. And their round tires like the moon, the chains, and the bracelets, and the mufflers, the bonnets. Hey, sister, how you doing? Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? No. No? What you believe in, brother? He, he said me, no. Ain't got a feminine spirit. He said me. You know, that's the type, that's the type of men we got out here, right? We got weaky feminine men out here, man. Right? Where the true warriors at, right? Where the true men at that want to take back the damn kingdom, man? That's right. Where the true men at that want to rule the planet in the last days, right? Before the destruction hit, right? You see him over there? It's like the Lord got him throwing up or something now, right? He's finished, man. Right? Damn demons, man. Go ahead. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets. And the headbands and the tablets. The Lord is getting rid of all your stuff. He's taking your houses away too. I thought you knew. Right. Right? On that day, the Lord is going to take your ass out your home, you independent black women. Right? Right? That's, where you, that's what that word is when you go into it, your tablets, right? That's your dwelling, your home, when you go into that word. But y'all people really don't read the word. Y'all think we out here playing, right? Wow. You don't understand that these things must come to pass, right? right? These things must happen, right? Let me get 2 Nezus chapter 6 and verse 70, right? Because I don't think they understand what's going on. Go ahead. And the earrings... The rings and nose jewels. And the Lord taking away your rings, your earrings, your nose jewels. Right? He getting rid of all of the glorious items that the daughters of Zion glorify in in the last days. Right? Our women put on all that costly array and say, look at me. Right? Look at what the Lord did for me. Right? The Lord going to take all of it away too. I thought you knew. Go ahead. The changeable suits of apparel. He's going to take all that shit out your closets too. I thought you knew. Right? Excuse my language for those that will be offended by true speaking of power. What? Right? Go ahead. And the mantles and the windows and the crisping pins. All that stuff is going to be removed from you wicked ass daughters of Zion because you don't want to repent. Right? Because you don't want to come under righteous men. Right? Under a righteous hedge of protection. Right? Because you want to keep following the ways of oppression. Right? This is what the Lord got for you. Right? Go ahead. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 70. There should be very few left per adventure in an innumerable multitude. That's it. No, go ahead. Chapter 8, verse 1. 16. 16 and 70? 16 and 70. That's a lot there, bro. 2nd chapter 16. In verse 70. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, brother and sister, how y'all doing? Hey, can I ask you a question, my brother? No? Okay. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 70. Come on, sis. Come on over here, sis. There you go. We trying to get you right, sister. No, come talk to me right here, sister. Thank you, sister. I'll pray to the most high. Hey, get a sister a hand, right? Because this is what we out here for. Yeah, go ahead, sister. Yeah. No, I didn't make that assumption. No, 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 sister, listen. I'm, and I'm, and I'm, you asked me a question, I'm trying to answer it. Okay, go ahead. Sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me deal with the sister. I said, go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah. I got you, sister. All right. Okay, sister. Are you going to let me deal with you when you finish what you're saying? Yeah, we can see. All right, go ahead. But I just wanted to come back. I don't even like I came back. And I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. If I went home and did not go home, I'm not going to be Okay. 
Well, look, so, so let me show you this right here. I didn't lose this all, because you want to know why? Man, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, thank you. All, all, all praise to the most I said. So the Spirit of the Lord brought you back here because of what I said. Because all through the Bible, many of our people had deformity, sister. Right? So let me get Luke chapter 6, verse 6. What did it say, sis? I want you to get Well, that's what I'm trying to do, but you said I know what it said. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you, sister. All praise to the most high, right? You know who we are, sis? You know you know who we are? I got you. But I gotta talk to edify the people. So I got you, sis. What's your name, sister? Sister Blue. All right, sister. Okay, that's all right. I, I got you, sister, okay? We we are truly out here for our people, right? God's beautiful people, right? And we want our people to repent, right? Let me get Acts uh, 3 and 19. Sister. I'm going to get it. Sister, I got you. But I'm trying to feed you right now, right? The book of Luke, chapter 6 and verse 6. Bring it out. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. So, right. We on a Sabbath day, right, sister? Understand that, right? Okay, let me finish though, sis. Huh? So we're on a Sabbath day where many of our people have a lot of things going on. Many of our people are in the midst of sin, right? In abominable ways, right? So when I made the statement of saying what I said, right? The scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice, right? So I asked you to stand here and listen to the word of the Lord. Now I understand now you're convicted to come back here. All right. All right, so I'm going to show you right here. We're doing it the way that the Lord did it, right? Go ahead. And sister, well, what I did, no, what I did was, that's prophecy, sister. That's prophecy, sister. Yeah, yeah, hey, listen. And also with heavy rebuke also, sister. Hey, listen, hold on, watch this, watch this. Well, sister, you out here on the Sabbath day. You don't know where I, you don't know where I'm Sister, are you out here on? Whoa, 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 sister. Okay, you see how proud for you are, sister? All right, so when is the Sabbath then? When is this happening? When is it? The day that I'm asking what day? Can you just say what day that is? No, you, that, that's not answering the question. Okay, what day is that? Is that is that Friday? Is that Sunday? Is it Sunday? Oh, praise it! We, we do, oh, praise it! But we do know. We do know, sister. Friday, Saturday. Listen, sister, wait, 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 sister. Hey, let me get your precept right here. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Understand this, sister, right? We not, we not, we not, we know some Christian pastors, all right? Go ahead. Cry loud! What? Cry loud! The Lord want the children of... You see, you see, you see that? Yeah, you see that? That's what, that's what... You wanted to, you wanted to speak in the right Sister, 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 you see that? Sister, you see what you try to do? Why would you try to snack? That's not. I got, I got you, bro. And why would, why, why would you? Why would you're not now? You're not displaying what you just said. You just did it. It's on camera, sis. Are you drunk? All right. So, so listen. Calm down. Can you calm down, dude? Let me see. I'm gonna let that go. All right. Thank you. What you trying to do? You're trying to tell me how to teach the Bible. Hey, sis, you keep. <laughs> no, I'm at, but but it's the way you're doing it though, because I'm out here to work for the Lord, sis, and it's like you're trying to take over me in the midst of what I'm doing. What you want? What you want me to understand? This is what I want you to understand. Go ahead. Can I read the Bible? Can I read the Bible, sis? Are you okay? Are you filled with the Spirit? All right, so sister, no, no, hey, watch this. Hey, sister, do you have a husband? You're single. So listen at this, sis, real quick. Listen, 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 listen. can you listen to the word? No, no, sister, don't worry about the camera. Can you listen to the word? Just listen to the word, sis. Go ahead. 
The book of Ecclesiastes. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Sis, just listen. Can you listen? Don't touch him. I just want to give you one scripture. How? I listen to you. Now you want the mic? Well, since we're here, I came here to ask the gentleman to not be disrespectful and call out individual disability. I walked past. Since you said that already. Exactly, and I'm saying it to make sure that that, that everyone. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. You, you are not going to do this. Listen, what you're not going to do not is take control of my hand. Control. You, you've been taking control of my arm, my hand, my I'm wrist. You're trying to take the mic. I mean, come on, sis. I just want you to relax, right? Let me finish getting that Isaiah 58 and 1. Yeah, yeah, you, you too, sis. Hey, hey, look, sis, we try to give you the bread, but you don't want it, sis, right? Go ahead. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing, sis? Y'all believe in the Bible? Can I ask y'all a question? One question. Come here, sisters. Bad girl, right? You got to put some clothes on, sis. You got to cover up, sis. That's what the Lord says, sis. You got to cover up, sis, right? And when battle come, you're not going to be dressed like that, right? Or you just might, and you're going to be finished on that day, right? Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it out. Cry out. And what are we doing? Cry out. We come out here to cry out to the children of Israel with your rebellious ass in the last days. Go ahead. Spare not. We're not going to spare your emotional feelings, right? Because you understand this? If I had a deformity about me, I would want one of my brothers to try to heal me. I would want one of my brothers to put the spirit of the Lord upon me. I would want my brothers to display the acts of the apostles upon me, right? Hey sisters, y'all believe in the Bible? Right? But our people don't believe in the word, right? Smooth words is what they want. Go ahead. Spare not. And we not spare your feelings, man. We're going to give you thus saith the Lord, not me, right? Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression uh, and the house of Jacob their sin. So we come out here to show the house of Jacob their sins. Hey, look, is this y'all's God right here? Come on, man. Y'all. <laughs> oh, I had the wrong. Oh, okay, it's right here. Be lucky. <laughs> He said, I don't worship a lion. He just don't know it, right? All praise to the most high. Hey, sisters. Hey, how y'all sisters doing today? Hello? Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Anybody? Hey, is this y'all's God? Is this y'all's God? Hey, how y'all sisters doing? Can I ask you a question, sister? No, thank you. See that? Hey, the Lord gonna say no. You love Jesus? Hey, so come here and tell me, is this Jesus? Real quick, sister. Yeah, it ain't covered up. Look. Wow, you see that? Damn. <laughs> you see what our sister say? You see that? Our, pe our women are finished, man. When does when 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 does women talk to men like that? Right. How you gonna say you a, a, a man? When does a woman tell a man you look like you need some? Right. But if he was to go take it, it'd be a whole problem, right? right, right. <laughs> you look like you need some, right? Hey, don't worry about it. He gonna have a whole lot of them on that day. Hey, how y'all sisters doing? Hey, can I ask y'all a question real quick, sis? No. Hey, hey, come here, real quick, sister. Is, is this is this y'all's God right here, sister? Is this your God? What's your God look like, sister? So what do you look like? Talk to me, sis. He's not of that complexion. He's like an olive complexion. An olive complexion? Well, there's two different color olives. There's green olives. Not the lighter skin and the straight hair. But sister, listen, there's green olives and black olives. Which ones is Christ? More of the dark olives. Oh, the black one. Hey, get a sister hand. Hey, sister, can we get you some real quick, sister? Can I read you one scripture? Let me let me get first Timothy's 29 one more time. Hey, get a sister a flyer real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. Real, real quick, sister. Right? So you believe in the Bible, right? You ever heard of the children of Israel? Yes. Okay, sister, watch this. 
This is what the Lord wants for our beautiful sisters, right? I've been teaching the women out here for quite some time. So this is it. Don't worry about them. This is for you. Watch this. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. We don't want you to be taken in the night by the wrong man, right? We want a right man. Are you married? I am. Okay, listen. Where's your husband? Uh, at work. <laughs> oh, okay, so your husband let you come out like that? He doesn't let me come out. I have a set of parents. I'm Ooh, okay, listen at that. Go ahead, watch this. This is what the Lord said. In like manner also, uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in. So, so your husband might not mind, but the Lord does. So he said in like manner also. This is what he said. Wait, sister, watch this. Go ahead. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. How to cover up, sis. You got see-through on. Right? You see that? Now you strutting and jiggling everywhere. That's all our women know how to do, right? They out here for the camp. Huh? That's somebody's wife, right? Out here with see-through on, right? Somebody's wife is out here showing ass for every man on Glenwood Avenue to see, right? But we got to come out here and speak truth in the last days, right? We got to show ourselves to be different men in the last days, right? And not be captivated captivated by the daughters of Zion by Eve man right the daughters of Zion man they real beautiful man but you could be captivated and blown away by that lust right but you're not gonna get us up here we're gonna try to get you to repent man right hey come here right <laughs> this is crazy this is madness man all praise to the most high man right so let me finish off on that uh who who is holding that um where we at what time is it what time is it, brothers? Kind of all praises, all praises, all praises, right? Beautiful work tonight, right? Let me get, uh, let me get that. Who is holding that, uh, that Psalms 23? Kyle, go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 23, and verse 2. Bring it up. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Uh -huh. He leadeth me beside the still waters. What? He restoreth my soul. And that's what we are here to do, right? You're looking at those that have been restored in the last days, right? And we're trying to restore all of our people, right? We're trying to restore and clean up the filth from the daughters of Zion. Hey, sister and brother, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. No, sir? You say yes, sir or no, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, well, come here to word then, brother. Huh? All right, go ahead. He restored. It's all good, my brother, right? The Lord have restored the children of Israel on this day, right? We're looking at the mighty works of the Lord, right? Let me get Ezekiel 37, brother, right? While the brother get back, right? Get some water. Get the brother some water. You know what I mean? Ready. Ready. This is going to be yours. Ready. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 23, and verse 3. Bring it up. He restored it, Damn. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. That's what we're looking for, right? We're looking at the restoration of the children of Israel, right? To raise up out of the dry bones, right? We're trying to give you the life right now, but our people don't want it. Go ahead. 37 to 1. Right. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 1. Bring it out. The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And that's where we are right now. The hand of the Lord is upon each and one of these men, right, that diligently come out here and do this work in the last days, right? This is a just service that's only for the children of Israel, right, that our people clearly don't understand, right? Go ahead. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And we're looking right now in the midst of the valley that's full of bones, right? Why are these, why are these, uh, this valley full of bones? Because you don't know who you are. Because you lost your way. You've been bamboozled. You've been walking in the wrong bathroom doors, right? You've been going to work for the devil your whole life. You don't know how to build yourself up with your brothers so you can take the kingdom in the last days, right? Go ahead. And cause me to pass by them round about. And we passing by all y'all round about right now, right? Go ahead. And behold. There were very many in the open valley. And there's many people out here in this open valley, right? Woo! Woo! Right? You're finished. You're going into slavery. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah, you're going into slavery. Thus saith the Lord. All right? You want me to show you? Yeah, you're going to have to serve the children of Israel, devils. Right? How y'all doing? Come here, sit. Come here. Come here, real quick. Hey, can I talk to you for two minutes? 
caminando. Two minutes, two minutes. Come on now. And we're speaking in tongues for you. <laughs> and lo, they were very dry. Go ahead. And he said unto me, huh? son of man, can these bones live? And we want to know if these bones could live out here on Glenwood Avenue, right? We want to know all throughout Raleigh, North Carolina, can the bones live in the last days, right? How many of you dry ass bones can we get to wake up in the last days, right? Go ahead. And I answered, O oh Lord God, uh -huh. thou knowest. Only the Lord knows, right? How many of you people gonna wake up in the last days, right? Only thing we could do is just come out here and do our service, right? right? The only thing we can do is come out here and be occupied in the ways of the Lord, right? We don't know how many of y'all are gonna bend your ear, right? We don't know how many of y'all are prepared to bend your knee on the day of the Lord, right? Rather, if you're going to bend it and stand in righteousness, or rather, if you're going to bend it and go into torments, right? We don't know which one side you're going to be on. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing, sister? Okay, can I ask y'all a question? Come here, sister, real quick. Is this y'all's God? Come here, sister, give me two minutes. Give me, no, come here, two minutes. I want to know, is this your God? I'm trying to show you something. Sister, man, see that? I thought it was a good time, man. The daughters of Zion thought it was a good time, man. Go ahead. Verse 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. What are we doing? Prophesy upon these bones. And we come out here to prophesy upon these bones, right? Not on all bones, because the word of the Lord ain't for everybody. Right. The covenants are not for everybody, right? You understand that? Let me get uh, 2 Ezra chapter 3, right? Let me get 2 Ezra chapter 3 and verse 32. Right? The word of the Lord and the covenants was not given to everybody. That's right. You understand that? Everybody does not understand the word of the Lord. Hey, hey let me ask you a question. Is this y'all's God? Is this what Jesus looked like? What does he look like? Wow, you see that? You see the faggot to the Lord? That's why we got to put your ass in chains, man. That's right. Because of your filthy ass mouth, man. Right. Right? We got to bind you up, man. Right? And put soap down your throat, wash your ass up, and put you in slavery, that's, you damn that's devil. That's blasphemy. Right? Go ahead. Three, uh, three the book of 2 Ezra, chapter Yo. 3, and verse 32. Right? Or is there any other people that knoweth thee beside Israel? Understand that. Is there any other people that knoweth the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son besides who? Israel? Besides Israel. There's nobody else. Y'all brothers understand that? There's nobody else that know the Lord besides Israel. Go ahead. Or what generation hath so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Hey, ain't nobody else believed the covenants besides Jacob in the last days, man. And that's why we come out here to do the work. To try to get y'all to come back to the covenant. To try to get y'all to come back to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? right. Go ahead. And yet their, their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. And their what? And their labor hath no fruit. And their labor have no fruit because our people don't want to come out here to do the work of the Lord. You have to be keeping the commandments in order to get more fruit. You have to come out here on the highways and the byways in order to produce more fruit. Go ahead. For I have gone here and there through the heathen. Uh, and what? Through the heathen. And we going here and there through the heathen right now, right? Trying to wake up Jacob. Trying to wake up Israel. Go ahead. And I see that they flow in wealth, uh -huh. and think not upon thy commandments. And they do what? Think not upon thy commandments. So our people are flowing with wealth right now, and they're not thinking upon the commandments of the Lord. Our people want to continuously walk in darkness and blindness, right? Go ahead. Weigh, now, weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. And that's what we have done. We have weighed the wickedness in the balance. And that's why we can come out here and judge our people uprightly. Because we once walked in the wickedness in the ways of this world. Right? So we know how to rightfully divide the word of truth. And we know how to wake up God's people. Because we once walked in darkness. Right? The only people that can change something is those that walked in something that was wrong. Right? right? That's the only way you could clean somebody up. Right? If a sister was raped, I was never raped. So I don't know the proper words to give her. Only another woman that was raped can give her that edification. Right? Go ahead. 
And there's also that dwell in the world. And there's also those that dwell in the world. Go ahead. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. But in where? But, but in, in Israel. Israel. Only the name of the Lord is found in Israel. Do y'all sisters understand that? How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Of course. So can I ask you a question then? Two minutes? They don't believe Since y'all said of course so proudly? She believe in booty shorts. Brother, finish where you was at, brother. The book of Ezekiel, let chapter 37. Let me, get, let me get Matthew 24. You know what I want. Verse 4. Again, he said unto me, uh -huh. prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, uh -huh. hear the word of the Lord. And that's all we want our people to do, man, the children of Israel. We only want you to hear the word of the Lord in the last days, right? We only want our people to repent in the last days. That's it on that, brother. Go ahead and get that. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. Bring it out. And this gospel. And this what? And this gospel. We come out here with the true gospel for the children of Israel in the last days, right? Go ahead. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. That's what we come out here for in all the world. The gospel of the kingdom for the children of Israel. Understand that. Go ahead. For a witness. For a what? For a witness. What are the works that we're doing out here on Greenwood Avenue? For a witness. Yeah, we're doing this for a witness, right? Go ahead. Unto all nations. Unto all nations, right? The works we're doing before you people are for a witness unto all nations. Thus saith the Lord. Go ahead. And then shall the end come. Yeah, we're waiting on the end, right? And that's the end of my time, man. I'm your brother, Yashuv, in the spirit of the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah in the last days, right? I want to say the water, Yahweh, the water, Yahweh Shah, the rock of thy, Yahweh. Baraka Thaw Yahweh Shai Call hello Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Baraka Thaw And death to the damn devils And Esau And all you nations The Chinese The Japanese Right You fake ass Blackanese I don't care who you are in the last days man Death to you if you don't want to keep the commandments of God Death to you if you got hate for your brother in the last days Right Destruction to America in the last days Right Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte.